Okay, we're here in Final Cut Pro and we're going to have a look at how we make a backup or a copy of a project to an external hard drive. So I'm working on a project here, this grey colour tutorial, um, which is a Photoshop tutorial I created. And we're going to move this project to an external hard drive. It's located locally on my drive at the moment. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just make sure we've got an external um, hard drive plugged in. And we have this hard drive, the transporter, plugged in. Okay, um, there's no Final Cut Pro projects on here at the moment, so we're going to make a fresh library which will make the folders that Final Cut needs um, to store the files in it. So in Final Cut Pro, go to File, New Library, okay, and we'll call this Final Cut Projects and save that. We'll just jump back to the drive to show you what's happened there. So now in the drive that I've made, we just have this file, Final Cut Projects, okay, and it's basically uh, the Final Cut Pro project library that we can move files to now, okay. So in Final Cut, the, the next step is to find the project that we want to move. So we're going to go back to this set of events on my hard drive, okay, and into the tutorials folder, which is where this project we want to move is stored. So I highlight this, okay, come up to my new library, the Final Cut projects, and just drag it in there, okay, and you can see it's dragging it into the date here. Okay, so basically we have a little message here, we want to copy these files, and um, it's going to move the optimized media and the proxy media, so if you want to save some space, you might want to uncheck that, um, depending on if you want to avoid having to fill up your hard drive. If you want to avoid rendering, then you want to move the optimized media um, and the proxy media if you're using it. So we'll click OK here. And now these files uh, are moving across. So it's copying um, three of three files from one location to another. OK, so while it's doing this, we'll just have a look at the Final Cut Pro folder, the library, just to show what's actually in there. So we're looking at the local drive now. Now normally by default your Final Cut Pro library is in the, the movies folder. Okay. So if you're searching for files or projects and you actually want to drag some of those original QuickTime movies out that you've imported into Final Cut, then this is where you, you go. So normally by default it's called your hard drive's name, Macintosh HD is mine, um, it's projects and events. Okay, so if I right click on here, okay. I've got this option to show package contents, and you can do this for these kind of libraries or for applications and stuff like that to see what files are inside it. Okay, it's kind of like a semi locked uh, file, but actually, you can get inside it. Okay, so you can see in here I've got my list um, of events. Okay, and also in here, I've got if I go into these events and we just kind of stretch this out, all the different projects that I'm working on. Okay, and I've got folders in here such as transcoded media, um, where if you're transcoding stuff to high quality media or to proxy media, you'll have this um, storage in here, okay? And these are the kind of folders that if you wanna clear some space on your hard drive because things are filling up quickly, um, these are the kind of things, as long as you've got the original file, that you can delete um, without too, too much trouble. Uh, test it on a, a less important project first before you try that out. Also files that you can delete in here to, to kind of clean things up are the render files. Um, so you can see we've got high quality media in here. And if we look at it, this render file can get quite big um, quite quickly as we work on different projects. So I know with confidence that if I delete those 70 gigabytes of projects, um, all I would have to do would be some re-rendering of, of the projects. Um, I wouldn't actually lose the projects themselves. So getting into this uh, folder um, can be quite useful um, if you're running out of hard drive space, which does happen from time to time. And um, we've also got the original media. Now you can see here that I've got some different kinds of media here. So some of these are these files with a little hooked arrow on the bottom left. And that means that it's a link to a file. So the file's not actually located in this, uh, this folder. The file we moved, the grey color tutorial is, it's actually embedded um, within the Final Cut Pro project library. But I do this this way um, so that I don't duplicate my, my files when I'm importing them. Um, okay, so let's have a look at what we've got on our external uh, folder here. So in our new Final Cut Projects library, if we right click and show the package contents, you can see we've got the 
event, today's date, and we can change that if we want to in Final Cut. Um, and then we've got the gray color tutorial, um, the event, so the edit of that file, the original files. Okay, so I've got a couple of voiceovers that I did to, to fix some sound problems that I had. Um, I've got the tutorial, original movie file itself, and then the render files, okay, which is just the peaks data, which is like the, the audio waveform uh, data. So that project now, if I unplug the hard drive, move to a different location, um, I know that I can actually continue to work um, on that project and in different location. So that's how to, to move a project. And if we just go back to Final Cut Pro, we can see now um, everything's uh, finished here. And if we jump into our new Final Cut Projects library up here, we can select the edit. We can see the edit because it's got this kind of jagged black and white line at the top. Um, we've got the, the same uh, project in here. Okay. And we can now move that to a different computer and work on a different location. We can also, if we want to, uh, kind of have more control over our backups, actually copy um, the files from the original Final Cut Pro library. So we can go into uh, the Macintosh HD Project and Events library and copy those files, but it's a little bit tricky. You need to know where the files are um, before you copy them. But certainly, if you want to back up your whole uh, library and you've got the space to do that, then if you take a full copy of this, then it will give you a, a backup of your, your entire uh, project library. Okay, obviously, normally you would want to keep uh, three copies of this library, so it's handy to be able to, to do that, um, to actually drag this to a different drive and make a backup of all those projects. Okay, that's the end of this quick run through of how to kind of manage projects within uh, Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions about setting up projects in Final Cut or about how to manage those projects, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Hustle.